Hello. I started this painting six months ago, and whilst I love the idea, the execution is not the best. So, today, I'm going to try and save it. I started this painting in acrylics, but I'm going to be finishing it in oils. Putting these shadows on, I was slightly concerned, but once I built them up a bit, it was starting to take shape. The goal for me in this painting was to work looser than I usually do. I want people to be able to see the brush strokes at the end and not be perfectly smooth. So now, happy with the face, I decided to move on to the fox. Or what was supposed to be a fox. I mean, what is this? I'm using a white pencil to mark out the alterations and I'm not gonna lie, this fox gave me a lot of grief. And this is not the only time I have to repaint it. I wanted to put something in her hair, so I did these cute little flowers. Most of the painting is complementary colours, blue and orange, so I wanted to have a pop of pink or red. If you've seen my work before, you know how much I love a bit of shiny metal, so this bell comes as no surprise. Okay. Here is where I realised that the lighting on the fox was not consistent with the lighting on the girl. Oh, I completely forgot to film this next bit. So, I really was not liking the fox. It was okay, but the lighting wasn't right and I just, I just wasn't happy with it. Instead of just keeping on layering on top, I was like, you know what, let's just sand it down and start again. So this is what I'm working with now. I did a quick sketch to try and re-establish where my lighting will be because this is my main reference but then I also used this reference for the face and this one for the lighting so to make it look like the fox is in the same painting then the lighting needs to match the girl. Honestly, this painting process was pretty much just like this. I really want to do that fox a la prima. I, I want it all in one layer. I'm really admiring artists like Jen Art. I'll put some of her work up, but she basically does animal paintings that look so lifelike, but there's not much detail. She just uses big brush strokes and an a la prima approach to do these gorgeous paintings. That's kind of what I wanted with this fox. Even after finishing the fox for the second time now, it was still looking a bit strange and my patience is finite and it was starting to bother me. So I sent some pictures to my sister because I know she'll always tell it to me straight. We worked out how to fix it and here are the alterations that I made. I shortened the snout, made the angle of the forehead steeper and darkened up some areas of the shadows to give it way more form. Sometimes all it takes is a new set of eyes. When you've been staring at your work for so long, you sort of go painting blind. I'm hushing the dog on the team. I'm running up stones on the edge of the bank. Rally the troops for another. By the time I made it to the back end of the fox, my fur was already improving so much. I was trying to imagine where the light would be hitting exactly on the fox. After filling in the second side of the background, I was able to add something that I knew would bring the whole piece together. This is Yorkshire fog. It grows all over the UK this time of year and it's exactly what this painting needs. Only problem is, I can't draw straight lines apparently. I mean, give me a face, I'll be able to do it just fine, but straight lines? Sorry, nope, can't do it. Anyway, they're starting to go out of season now, but a few weeks ago, whole fields would be turned this reddish purple from there being so many of them. They're mostly considered a weed, but I think they just look so beautiful. Alright, we're on to the home stretch now, which is this fabric at the bottom. I thought it'd be cute if it had these little tassels. It would make sense for these to have shadows, but I ended up not adding any, because I kind of liked the way it looked already. 
With my new work, I'm trying to test pushing realism aside in some areas and going for more of an abstract look. I am so glad that I worked on this tail while the fabric was still wet because it gave these lovely soft edges and it made it look so fluffy. And that's it. Enjoy the reveal. Something I didn't mention at the start of this video is that this oil painting is actually one of my first ever oil paintings. In my last video, I learned how to oil paint in just 30 days. So if you want to see the journey from me making my first ever oil painting to finishing this big final piece, then definitely give that a watch. <laughs> 